Tony Woodin operates his own business and enjoys the quieter side of Las Vegas. I've been in Vegas 50 years, grew up here. Uh, the, the last 40 years, I spent 10 years lifting bags in the hotels in my 20s, and then the last 31 years, I've been selling carpet to hotel casinos. I live up in the top west side of Las Vegas uh, in a place called Siena. It's a 2,000 home, uh, 55 plus community. And I've been here nine months and I really like it here. Very peaceful and calm, not like the strip. But a number of years ago, lower back and leg pain began affecting his work. And finally, within the last year, he began looking for help. I started uh, about four years ago, feeling a lot of pain in my back. I was doing a lot of sitting and I thought it was maybe a chair or something I was sitting on or I have a habit of sitting for four hours straight, not getting up, just looking for problem. So uh, I tried to get a new chair and tried a lot of other different things. The pain just kept staying there. It was a, a numbing, burning pain underneath both of my thighs. And on, on the sides, it started to happen to a little bit, a kind of a sharp pain. So I did go to some orthopedic surgeons, found out what I did have, a uh, degenerative disc and a uh, stenosis in the spine. Uh, they gave me the 70-30 odds of success in which I decided to pass completely. Just tried to live with it for a while. Uh, it gradually got uh, worse and worse, and then I developed some pain in, in my uh, glutes and lower back as well about eight months ago. And the pain in my thighs, I wasn't able to sit and work without being in pain. It stayed after when I was sitting. I couldn't sleep on my back or side, and I, I had to do something. Tony was diagnosed with a number of issues, including degenerative disc disease. Degenerative disc disease is not necessarily a disease, but is instead a term used to describe changes in the spinal discs as we age. And discs that are compromised can lead to other spine conditions, including those Tony also suffered from, bulging discs and stenosis. I did try acupuncture a little bit, you know, it worked for a day or two uh, at the most. I, I did go to physical therapy for four or five months. Uh, I did go to a chiropractor for four or five months. I did hang upside down at my home <laughs> for four or five months. And yes, they helped a little bit, but it was gonna be a constant going back forever and ever. And certainly they didn't resolve the pain in any shape or form. It just made it a little less. After learning that his odds with traditional surgery and the use of stem cell treatments would not be great, he found the Bonatti Spine Institute. Well, when I ran out of um, choices of uh, other natural, less evasive things, I, and I was getting so bad, I knew I had to do something, so I started doing a lot of research on Google, where I found a lot of different types of surgery, uh, other people that are um, doing things like stem cell, which I uh, certainly considered because I was thinking minimally invasive. Uh, I did make an appointment to see them, and I understood the procedures but I decided that the odds really, down the line I think there's a lot of uh, pastas with stem cell, but right now uh, it seemed too much like a temporary fix that I'd have to keep going back, uh, you know, for a tune-up twice a year or whatever as they called it. And it wasn't guaranteed at all and it was 100% cash. So I, I just changed my mind a couple weeks before and decided to go with Bonatti, which was my second choice if stem cell didn't work and I made it my first choice and very happy I did. Tony met with Bonatti neurosurgeon Dr. Grossmith to determine if he was a candidate for the Bonatti spine procedures. I originally called the toll-free number that was in Florida and then I saw that they were so close to me here in Vegas with their new office that they were six minutes away. So it was a no-brainer just to drive over there, and in which I spoke to uh, Mario, who's their uh, vice president here. He um, explained a couple of new things to me. I did end up uh, seeing the doctor uh, for a, a free consultation, and then I decided I was definitely going. Within three weeks, we were, um, we were getting the operation done. When he first did the MRI, that, um, and I saw him, um, I definitely believe he could help me. Dr. Grossmith is just, you know, a first class guy is all I can say. He explained in things in such detail that I, I understood completely by looking at the, the x-rays and the, and the tests and everything and the MRIs showed me exactly where everything was. I had a real complete understanding of my situation. Now feeling confident to move forward, Tony had his first procedure and continued through his surgical summary. Yeah, when I went into surgery uh, for the first time, 
Uh, you know, everybody doesn't know what to really expect. You're a little nervous, but I got there, the receptionist immediately. Um, I had filled out the paperwork beforehand and got that taken care of already. And they brought me into the back room where upon uh, a couple of nurses uh, went through things, explaining some things, asking me questions, marking specifically left, right, where they're gonna operate so that nobody had a misunderstanding. Uh, this was a one day outpatient thing and they, they kind of put you under but you're not completely under. Everything just went so well, the people were, were great. They started with my left side, where my degenerative disc and stenosis was, and they did the left side L5 and S1, and that was to get rid of the pain underneath my thighs and on my left side. It worked so well, I would say it really felt like just slightly, it, I can't even call it pain, say a one. You know, you just feel it, and that's still how it is today. I couldn't ask for more. I now, I'm able to sit for work now, which is kind of important for all of us still. And, and do my work and I just don't sit as long as I've learned. Then it proceeded over to the right side in L5, S1. Uh, got that taken care of, that worked out great too. Then we went up to take care of my bulging disc in L5, L4, did the left and then the right. I had equal pain on all sides, so I had to get both left and right done. If I had pain on just one side, they would have just done one. Within just a few short days of his procedures, he was able to resume his everyday activities and regain an overall sense of well-being. It was really very easy. I was actually driving as soon as they would allow me to in three days and driving a little bit, going to the grocery store, uh, some simple things like that. Um, two weeks of not lifting anything more than five pounds or, or bending is the rule and I stayed with that, of course. And I, you know, within three weeks, I. I felt like I was feeling about 85 percent, 90 percent better. Every single surgery was outstanding. Uh, Dr. Grossmith, I, again, I can't say enough thanks to him. Uh, he, he's one of my new heroes. Uh, helped me get the life back and, and having some quality of life, which is really what we're all after as we start getting older. And um, I'm, I'm excited to go forward uh, this year with a fresh start.